What is going on guys, Hayden back, and today I have a fun little project to work on. So my girlfriend owns a 2010 Mazda 3, and a big problem with these cars, one that she's been complaining about, is that the fancy chrome emblem over time starts to erode or corrode away, and you're left with this ugly yellow plastic. Now, one fix to this, it's not really a fix, it's like a little cosmetic thing, is you can get a little silver pen, which I've done and colored it in, but as you can see, it slowly starts to eat away the chrome and really the only way you can go about replacing this or fixing this is to replace the entire thing as it's pretty hard to find just the emblem that works. Now, if I do find one, I'll make an update video, but the way to fix this is to buy an entire airbag cover. Now, by some stroke of luck on eBay, I was able to find just the cover itself as if you go on Mazda, they really only sell the cover with the airbag and that's like $500. This was about 60 bucks and it is a brand new i don't know how they got it where they got it from it came from like the uk but it is a brand new airbag cover like pre-assembly check this out brand new beautiful chrome emblem and uh we're gonna install this now you are gonna need a couple special tools as you can see they didn't fully plastic weld the emblem in so if i push slightly i can actually remove the the emblem itself from the airbag cover so we are gonna have to plastic weld that with a plastic welder super cheap i'll put all of this down in the description below for you guys to pick up these tools and the last thing we're gonna need is some extended extra long flange rivets here i don't know the exact Exact one, we'll find that out later on in the video, but they kind of look, they have a little longer head on them like this. I'll show you a little better later on compared to a normal one. The last thing you're gonna need is a rivet gun. Anyone will do, but I'll give you that exact size, but I went to Harbor Freight and for like 20 bucks, I picked up this one here. And there's tons on Amazon if you don't have a Harbor Freight near you. But with that being said, let's dive into the installation process. Now, the first thing we're gonna need to do is for safety, and that is to disconnect the battery which is just a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll get a, a wrench and it's pretty simple. You're just gonna only disconnect the negative here. Just crack this puppy loose and then we're gonna remove this, set this to the side and this will disconnect all the electricity voltage going to the car. Now, lucky for us, removal of the airbag itself is actually really easy compared to some other airbags I've worked on. But literally right on the side here, you can see there's this little plug. And if we pull that out, there's just a 10 mil bolt on this side and on the other side. And we just need to take those out. And then all you gotta do is disconnect some wires and this whole puppy puppy pops right out. Now go grab yourself a plastic pry tool and a pick as that's what you're gonna need to disconnect the wires here. Now with those two bolts out, it should be pretty easy to pull this out and turn it around and you'll see we'll have three connectors and one clip. Here's the clip, here's the white connector. And then here are two other connectors for the airbag. I believe this should be for your horn. And then these two are for your airbag. Now, in order to remove these, and they are color coded, so don't worry, you wanna get your pick underneath this black tab, slightly pull it out, and then wiggle it back and forth and it should disconnect. Same thing with the yellow. Once the black is out, pull it forward and you can disconnect it. Next up, we need to remove this right here, this clip underneath. So we're going to wiggle this under here just like such, pull it close. And if we're lucky, there we go. It should come out or we'll break it, but we'll just replace it, no big deal. Uh, and then lastly, right here, we're just going to push this in and pull out and that should disconnect it. Now we've successfully removed our airbag. Now, before we start working on the old airbag and you can see the rivets here, there's four, two at the top and one on the side under the sticker. Uh, I wanna work on the new airbag cover first. As you can see, there are these plastic tabs in here and we need to plastic weld them down so that the emblem doesn't fall out. Now, in order to do that, it's pretty simple. I have this kit right here, my favorite kit for plastic welding. It was like 15 or 20 bucks. And I have this attachment on it right here. And I'm just gonna bend it up a little bit and we're gonna go turn it on and I'm gonna heat these tabs down so that it holds the emblem in place. All right, so it's pretty simple to use this device. It just has a trigger. Pulling this will heat up this tab right here at the top. And what I'm gonna do is put pressure on the back side, right where this first tab is here. I'm gonna heat it up and we're gonna push it down. I'm gonna try to at least.
and check it out. Just like that, the badge is going to stay in there this time. It is perfect, it is flush, and as you can see, it's not going anywhere. And when we remove the old one, you'll see it's gonna look very similar to this on the inside here. Now, the last step that we're gonna have to do is get the rivets out of here. And I forgot to mention that earlier in the video, you're gonna need, this is the other specialty tool, some sort of punch. This is a Mayhew punch. It is a 332nd, 332, you can see right here, Mayhew punch. That's what I got, comes in a kit. I'll put that on Amazon as well here. And the point is, in order, we have to remove these rivets first in order to actually take the cover off. Now, luckily, we don't actually have to meddle at all with any of the inner workings of the airbag. So it's a, a lot safer. As you can see, just on the outer perimeter here, this, this lip, at the top here, there's two uh, rivets right here and you can see the underside. So we're gonna punch those out. And then there's one right here and there's one under this. And once we get all four of these out, the airbag will simply lift out of this cover and we can slide it into the new one and then install our new rivets. Now, I wanna go over the rivets yet again that you need here. You can see I have these rivets right here and it's a pretty easy choice here to figure out which exact ones we're gonna need. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna use the 316 by a half and these have a 16 millimeter flange. I just wanna show you what that is. So these right here, some are shorter over here, but we'll play around with them a little bit later. But as you guys can see, this is gonna go through like right over here. And you can see the 16 millimeter wide flange. The reason we need this wide and not a smaller one is because we're using plastic. It's not metal. And we don't want the a smaller rivet like this right here to pull through it. Now there's not a lot of material and it'll rip right through this plastic. We don't want that. So we use a wide 16 millimeter flange right here to hold it in. It is identical to the other one. You can see, same thing. They are aluminum flanges with a steel pin in the inside here. Just keep that in mind. They are aluminum, 16 millimeter diameter. Yeah, and we're gonna use this thick one. The reason I believe this is the correct one is if we compare it right here and I put it just like this, check it out. There's really not that much room versus if I use the smaller one like this, notice here, there's not a lot of meat now for this to grab on. It could probably work, but I'd rather play it safe than sorry. And we're gonna use one with just a tiny bit more, just like that. And this should crush perfectly and give us that perfect seal that we need. With that being said, let's go ahead and figure out how to, or get these out, these four out right now. So what we're trying to do here is we're gonna put this punch right in here and we're gonna whack it out with a hammer to push the steel rivet through. Now, since we wanna reuse the holes, the original holes and not make them any bigger on the airbag, what we're gonna to need to do is find a drill bit that is just the same size, if not a hair smaller than the hole on here. And I'm pretty sure it is a 3 16 that we can use and that fits perfectly. That should be enough for us to drill straight through without opening this and being able to pop the head off each rivet. And as you can see, we freed the top part off the airbag. We just need to do the same to the one over here and the one right over here.
So once you get the heads off them, you need to drill all the way through. And I was able to do that using a 3 16 drill bit because this is just small enough where it can fit through and not actually ruin the size of the hole, which is what we're trying to avoid. As you remember, there were these little tabs on the back that crush, and these we need to get rid of because at some point, we're gonna have to put a new rivet through it, and we can't do that if there's already the remnants of the old one in it. So you have to draw all the way through. It's really simple, it's aluminum, and then uh, we're good to go. Now we can peel back the old airbag cover and put the new one on. You can see I've already started it, it's really easy. It's just this clip right here and here, and we can slowly pull this open. And now we just need to clean it up. Here's the old one. We're gonna set this aside. And here is the airbag. It's all sealed. You can see we need to get rid of that stuff, the old remnants of the, the old rivet. Excuse me, we need to get this out. We're gonna remove that. Once these are out, we can now go ahead and put the new airbag cover over it. And it's very simple. It should just slide right in, just like this. We need to sandwich this over it. What, what you hear squeezing is the horn. We need to get that through, that through, and this side, and then we should be able to do it. I might have to, uh, no, we should be able to get it. Yep, there we go. There's that side. This side is slowly coming, just like that. See how it plops in? And then it clips in right here clips in right here, and then the top should clip in just like that, and here we go, perfect. Now, as you can see, the airbag is fully seated, fully functional. Now we get our rivet gun, and you can see it comes with one style here, and there's a ton around it, so we're looking for one that fits the end in here. Too loose, all right, nope, and nope, and the top is perfect. And what we're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna lean this on myself we're going to put this on here and you can see i'm going to slide this all the way in and now we're going to start squeezing and this is crimping it into place and it pops it off and as you can see we have put the rivet in perfectly and it's done the exact same thing like the original one so we're good to go now we just got to do this on the other three sides Check it out guys, we have all four of the new rivets back in place. They are pretty much identical to factory. It didn't ruin the plastic in any way, which is awesome. And now the last step is to take our sticker again and put that sticker right over here. However, I had that last time, I believe it was something like this. It's that simple, it's that easy, there's nothing to it. We don't have to meddle with the airbag at all. Now we just have to plop it back in the car and uh, we're good to go. Now in reverse order, we're gonna reinstall the airbag back into the car. The first thing is the white clip here. This goes in right here. And because I broke this freaking tab off here, I'm gonna use a little bit of electrical tape. And with this all taped up, the next thing we're gonna do is reinstall uh, the orange and yellow clips here. We're gonna put the orange in first, make sure that the black is still up and then push the black in. That's really important that you push the black piece down after or the airbag won't work and you'll get a light on the dash. I actually scratched the uh, electrical tape. I just put a zip tie here, a little black one, and that's holding it in place so much better, just like the clip and it's much easier and safer to use. Then just put this back in, make sure those wires are out of the way. Good to go, double check. Yep, wires are out of the way. And now all we gotta do is put those screws back in on either side of the steering wheel and we are good to go. Screw on this side, good. And then we repeat on the other side. Get this in, sit it snug, just like that. We are good to go. We have officially put on a brand new airbag cover and boy oh boy, does that make this car look so much nicer. And the last step is to just install our terminal back on just like this, get it snug. And then we're gonna tighten her up with that same 10 mil. 
And now she's snug. Make sure I don't go anywhere. And we should be good to go. Just put this back on. And uh, that's how you do it. So guys, that is a wrap for today's episode on how to install a Mazda 3 airbag cover, 2010, 11, 12, 13, Mazda 3, Mazda 3 Speed, airbag cover, whatever has this exact one. Uh, if you liked it, definitely make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below, and please just do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot and it helps support me making content like this for you guys. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys down in the comments below. Make sure to check out some of my other videos, like how to install wheel bearings on a Mazda 3 and a lot lot of other really cool DIY stuff on this car. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.